Welcome along then to race day at what we hope will be another thrilling Formula One Grand Prix. With the rain coming down here at the 3.6 mile Monza circuit, the low drag setups preferred by most teams could cause them some problems in today's Grand Prix. So watch out for cars struggling for grip around the curve of Michele Alboreto. That's the parabolica to you and me, the last and most demanding of this track's 11 corners. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Russell, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Gasly, Albon, Stroll, Norris, Hulkenberg, Joe, Bottas, Ricardo, Magnussen, Sergeant and Yuki Sonoda. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Well, it's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. And judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Right then, the formation lap has started. And I must say the weather conditions aren't the best today for visibility and for grip. As each driver performs this lap, they'll be wanting to settle in and concentrate as this race, in these conditions, will require a lot of focus. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid, with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. And it's lights out, and away we go!
problem, problem. And box now, box, box now, box. Just died. Okay, copy. Yep, just pull over. Okay, Box, Carlos Box, speed confirmed. I've been hit in turn four, so check. Yeah, copy, Benedict, copy. We saw, we're keeping an eye. Everything okay so far? Yeah, but I mean, they cannot do that. Yeah, copy, we are reviewing. I crashed. Very, very sorry, guys. <laughs> Not a bad race car, is it? Well done, mate. And that is history. That is absolute history today. That's a fantastic, fantastic performance. <laughs> what an unbelievable fucking shit that was today. That was very lovely again. That's it, mate. P2. Well done. Yeah, that's a podium, baby. Well done, guys. Well done, easy rides. Well executed. Bravo! Yeah, well done, mate.
Okay, mate. That's uh, P3. That's P3. Yeah, let's go! Awesome! What a race, huh? Well done, mate. Great drive. Right. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, baby! And P4, P4. Yeah, tough one. Very tough one. Yeah, you try your best for the strong race from your side. Here we are then, a thoroughly deserved win in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack, and having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they secured here.